In today's quick Thursday tip, we're gonna talk about Power Apps mail to links. So the idea of a mail to link is instead of having Power Apps send the email, when you press the button, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the user's email client, like Outlook. And this works on their desktop, their tablet, their phone, it doesn't matter. Whatever the default mail client is, it'll pop open. You can pre-populate things for them, but then they can still edit them like any email and then send it. Who doesn't wanna send more emails? But before we learn about that, first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're going to talk about Power Apps Mail to Links. Mail to Links is just an HTML concept where you can preform a string, and when you use the Power Apps Launch function with a button, so on the on select property, then what you're going to do is it's going to launch their local uh, default mail client. So whether it's Outlook or some other janky things, Lotus Notes is something I used a million years ago, whatever it might be, it will launch your default mail client, and it's going to work on any type of device and then they can go ahead and modify the email. You can pre-populate it with the to, the CC, the BCC, the subject, the body, or you can just open up a blank email and let them fill it all out. Whatever you wanna do, the world is your oyster. So I thought this was a great quick little tip to get you guys going. So let's just switch over to my desktop and let's build this real fast. So over here on my desktop, this is the last um, email, like I did a full feature thing on how to build Outlook emails and send them straight from Power Apps, but it's not what we're gonna do, but I just thought it was a nice addition to this app, so that's why I busted this app open. So what I have here is if I click on this launch Outlook button, you're gonna see that an email pops open in my Outlook client. Look at that, it knows who it was to, the CC, the BCC, the subject, the body, all of that from just pressing a button. And so then I can modify this any way that I want and ship it out. Pretty cool. So how does that work? It's pretty straightforward actually. So if we go over here and we take a look at our button, we're gonna see that I'm using the Power Apps Launch. Remember launch is a great function because it just says, hey, operating system, here's something I want you to go open. And so this might work for a mail to link like this. We use this a lot with HTTP links, so a URL, so I want to send them somewhere. Or, you know, if I want to open like PDFs and things, I'm always using the launch function. And so in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to craft out some uh, email, right? So we're just going to say mail to. And so it's mail to, colon, notice it's all in quotes, it's a big string, it's an HTML string. Shane at powerapps911.com. So that's all that's required with a mail to function, just that little bit. But then what we can do is we can add parameters to the end. So we do that by setting a question mark. And then once we've set the question mark, we can then use a bunch of optional things like CC. So uh, carbon copy, right? Chewy at powerapps911.com, comma, right? My instinct was to use a semicolon here. It's a comma. And so I separated the two email addresses. That's why both Chewy and Ferguson are getting copied. And then you notice, I'm like, all right, well, I did a CC. Well, I want to do a BCC. So we did an ambersand. So concatenate onto that. And it's BCC, Shane at Power Apps 911. I apparently want to send myself the email twice. Who knows? And then I did another ambersand. And here I said, all right, subject equals, and then mail from Power Apps. Another ambersand, body equals, and then the body text. And so with this, you know, by pressing this button, we got all this uh, done. But if we're like, you know what, Shane, I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to CC or BCC, right? We can literally just pull those two pieces out like that. Maybe we don't even want a subject. Maybe we just want the body. So they're all optional, right, other than the actual two. So if we hit play now and press the button, what are we going to get? So we notice we've got two Shane, and then it looks like um, nothing else. What did I do wrong? Oh, you know what I did wrong? I put the amber sand where I didn't need it. Oh, I'm glad I messed up actually. Let's go fix that real quick. Go back over here. It did not mean to have the amber sand, right? The first property doesn't need an and. So let's try again. Launch, there you go. Now, th that's an important thing to note about this, right? There's no harm in trying. I'm not sending these people emails even though it's me. I'm just popping open the Outlook client. Not until I hit the literal send button here or control enter as I like to use. Um, will it send the email? So this is an easy thing for you to iterate and test through. Also notice that this time when I include a body, you lose your signature, right? If we click on the previous message, when I didn't include a body here because I had that typo, then I got my email signature. There's nothing you can do about that. You can't say, I want to set a body and keep their signature. So kind of keep that in mind. Also remember that this thing is just one big long string. So let's just undo, put all of our pieces back, right? Because I want to keep this. Um, I did want to cut out real quick. The body goes here. You notice I did this. 
and this percent zero D percent zero A. So this is the uh, encoding that makes Outlook include a space. Now, what's really annoying about this, I'm, I'm going to tell you the bad things as always, is that that particular encoding does cause a line break in Outlook on my desktop, but on Outlook on my phone, it does not. If I wanted to show on my phone, so I made a phone app earlier today, then I literally just typed in spaces and sent the spaces because it was using raw text. So one of the things you're going to have to do, and this is the fun of this, is you're going to have to massage it depending on what your primary target is. And you know, maybe you end up writing a bunch of crazy logic to do it. I don't, I don't want to go down that road. I'm not going to go down that road. But you know, if you really want to get a body perfectly formatted, you're probably going to need to know what device they're primarily going to use. Or you're going to have to write some really confusing logic here to be like, oh, if you're using this client, click this button type of stuff. So I want to just plant that seed. I'm not going to solve that problem for you. I'm just going to tell you might have it. Now, the other thing you might be thinking is, well, Shane, that's great. You hard-coded everything, but what if I wanted to make the mail, the mail this portion dynamic? Remember, this is a string. So I could just use my normal Power App skills, right? Be like, hey, take that string and concatenate in here, user.email. And then that way, I would just automatically be on the two line, right? Or, you know, maybe I want to have, uh, so I have a two box right here. What is this? This is combo box one. So maybe what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, instead of um, hard coding that, maybe I want to do combo box one dot selected and then dot email or dot mail. And so then now if we hit play or here, let's make the body, um, let's use this rich text editor one, right? And so then I go down here to the body and be like, hey, body, instead of all of that, I want you to be equals, and then I would close, I would do an ampersand, I'd say rich text editor one dot HTML text, I'd get rid of that close. And so then now if I go in here and search for Chewy, there's Chewy, and then if I put something in here, I'll enter some rich text here, yeah, 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 I don't know what that says. But there you go, and so then it dropped me in here. Now notice that the rich text editor is doing HTML output. That's why you see the HTML tags here. So I probably didn't want to use a rich text editor in this case. I would have used a regular text input, but you get the idea, right? That's what I want you guys to notice here is that you are in complete control because all it's about is what do you do to craft this string? So if you wanted to include text from a variable, a bunch of data out of a gallery, I don't care. Make this string the way you want and you've got what you want. Now, I will remind you if you want to download this app um, and have all this working code for all the fun stuff you see here, remember you can go to training.powerapps911.com and subscribe to the curated library. You can watch and get all my videos, right? There's hundreds or over a hundred at this point, not hundreds yet, almost hundreds. Um, but you can get the apps or you can get the videos, you can download the videos, you can download this app and all the other apps that are out there. And so that way you can get a bunch of going much faster. So. As always, if you have any thoughts, comments, leave them below, right? Do you like this quick format? Do you have other ideas? I'm always looking for ideas for these quick five to 10 minute videos. I think they're a lot of fun because I can just do these things really fast. I jump in, I teach you something, I get out. I'm still gonna keep making all those long videos, so don't get excited, right? We're gonna have a one short video a week, one bit long video, long video a week. Oh, I'm so worked up, I can't even talk. All right, any thoughts, leave me comments below. And with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.